All right, so this is my normal coffee mug. That is my mug I use when I need a little more caffeine. This is my mug I need when I am putting up the holidays. No, seriously, nobody needs this much coffee. This is insane. So, I have decided since the holidays are upon us, and Halloween is over, you know, you've probably seen my videos, Halloween is crazy. Everyone always asks, well, what do you do for Christmas? Do you go overboard? I do not. Um, I usually travel for Christmas, so there's really no point in going all out in the yard. I mean, I do put out a little bit of decor, but it is more of a tasteful <laughs> decoration as opposed to my over-the-top-ness with my Halloween. But this here, I thought I would do a cubicle Christmas, and let's see how gaudy I can make my cubicle for Christmas this year, and see if the co-workers notice or say anything. So I'm going to start today, although today's not really a decorating video. I wanted to share with you a couple of products that I found at the store the other day, and I was going to do some reviews on these, um, some of those you know, taste test first impression reviews, but I thought, eh, it's just a little weird, so I didn't but they're really good products and I wanted to share them with you. The first is this Peppermint Mocha Coffee Mate. It is sugar-free and I believe it is 15 calories per tablespoon. Now, normally with my coffee, I like to douse it with creamer and sweetener. So I probably, I don't know how many tablespoons that is, but you don't really need a whole lot of this Coffee Mate. It is actually very tasty on its own, and I don't need to put any sweetener in it. I'm going to pretend I didn't just drink that with the straw stuck in my mouth. But, um, you know, it's got that nice chocolatey peppermint flavor that is... You, know, you can't go wrong. That's the quintessential holiday flavoring. And it is so good. And it's sweet enough on its own. Again, I don't need my sweetener, so I feel better about that because I usually put so many of those little sweetener packets in. And I know that's not good for you. But oh, this is so good. I got this again at Walmart. It is sugar free peppermint mocha. Nestle Coffee Mate. Very good. There's the other product I got. These are also from Walmart. I think this, I don't remember how much each, either of these was. I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention since I didn't think I would do a video. But this is a limited edition gingerbread spice oatmeal. Now normally I would get the maple brown sugar oatmeal. So I was a little skeptical about this, but it's the same amount of calories. Um, one packet's 160 calories. And I thought I would give it a shot, and it is, as well, super delicious. So I just add hot water, throw it in one of these little disposable cups. I think I didn't put quite enough water in it this time because it got really thick. But often what I'll do as well is just take an extra granola bar and dump it in there just to give it a little bit of crunch. Alright, I went ahead and added a little bit more water to the oatmeal, put in my granola bar, and let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Mm. Now, as I said, I have tasted this before, so that's not my initial impression. But this is very good oatmeal. You know, the gingerbread, you can taste the ginger in it, and it, you know, it's a very subtle flavor and the spice isn't overwhelming. Like when you get a pumpkin spice something or other. You know how it's just it just there's so much spice in it sometimes that it just is off-putting to me but i think this is the perfect subtle flavor and the granola bar adds just a little bit of sweetness to it and it makes it the perfect breakfast so i'm going to sit here and eat my oatmeal drink my coffee you know this coffee is so good sometimes i will drink three cups instead of my usual two although those are much smaller cups if i drank three cups of these i would probably die but, you know, that's going to give me the caffeine I need to get through my workday and ponder exactly what I'm going to do to 
make this cubicle festive this year. So be sure that you stay tuned for that. You know, we're going to do some DIYs, figuring out some way to you know, take this over the top, much, much like my Halloween party at home. So let's see what we can do for the coworkers. Anyway, that's it. Stay tuned. Happy holidays, everyone. I'll see you around. Take care.